setting opens in the slumber room of the funeral director's establishment before the remains are taken to the church. Attention is directed to the cross, which appears in the lid of the casket. This emblem typifies the Episcopal service. It should be remembered that the casket is never opened in the Episcopal church. Therefore, opportunity is provided for friends and loved ones to pay their farewell tribute before the church service. In contrast to other types of services, it is observed that floral tributes are very much a part of the Episcopal service. The flowers are rearranged before closing the casket to accompany the body to the church where they are permitted in most cases. The family piece may stay on the casket during the entire service. The family arrives at the mortuary and the funeral director escorts them to the casket to spend their final moments. The funeral director stays close by the family during the last interval, although he keeps himself very much in the background. He is their friendly servant who is available for their instant need or call. After their final moments together, the family steps back for the director to close the casket. The director beckons to his assistant to come forward and to arrange the floral display to enable the director to close and seal the casket, which he does with painstaking care and in the presence of the entire family group. The casket floral piece is then centered. The director then steps back and observes the setting. He sees that the casket piece is correctly centered and he then moves the other floral tributes to aid his assistants to remove the casket. He motions for another assistant to come forward to help with the removal. The two able assistants direct the casket cautiously toward the entrance of the establishment and the director remains behind to escort the family. Observe the quiet and dignified manner in which he handles himself, <coughs> his assistants and the family. After the assistants leave the reposing room, they are joined by the casket bearers who accompany the casket and place it in the funeral coach for departure to the church. The director escorts the family to their waiting limousine. After they are seated, he then confers with the chauffeur of the funeral coach, takes the lead car, and the procession starts for the Episcopal Church. A motorcycle escort leads the Episcopal Church to make your right of way and to control traffic and the speed of the procession. The cortege approaches the church with diminished speed. Each car is stopped at the desired location to provide direct and proper entry for the casket and the family to the church. After the procession has been brought to a stop with each car well located, the director alights and walks toward the family limousine. The funeral coach chauffeur prepares the side loading coach for perfect horizontal removal of the casket by using the automatic leveling device. 
He simply moves the direction control lever, pushes the switch, and the mechanism is in operation. Because of the street slope, the left side of the coach is elevated to assure a level casket table. Release of the switch locks the device in position. The director arrives at the family limousine by the time the funeral coach has been properly leveled. He helps each member of the family to alight. While his assistant opens the funeral coach doors, motions to the bearers to take their positions, and with the touch of a finger, the automatic table is put into operation and the casket brought between the waiting bearers. Led by the assistant, the family procession forms to enter the vestibule of the church, where the lecturer and crucifer await the Episcopal service. It is well to point out that promptness is essential on the funeral director's part in all church services. When schedules are maintained, the rector is not kept waiting in the vestibule of the church for an indefinite period. After the procession reaches the vestibule, the crucifer and the rector take the lead as it proceeds down the center church aisle. The rector giving the renowned Episcopal message from the Book of Common Prayer, I am the resurrection.